Well, we've done what you told us. We brought you the broomstick of the Wicked Witch of the West. We melted her. Oh, you liquidated her, eh? Very resourceful. Yes, sir. So we'd like you to keep your promise to us, if you please, sir. Not so fast, not so fast. <laughs> I must give the matter a little more thought. Go away and come back tomorrow. Tomorrow? Oh, but I wanted to go home now. You've had plenty of time already. Yeah. Do not arouse the wrath of the great Oz. I said come back tomorrow. If you were really great and powerful, you'd keep your promises. Do you presume to criticize the great Oz? You ungrateful creatures! Consider <laughs> yourselves lucky I'm granting you an audience tomorrow instead of 20 years from now! Who's in there? I said go! Oh. Pay no attention to the man behind the contraption! The great Oz is... spoken. Who are you? I'm the... The great and powerful Wizard of Oz. You are? Yeah. I don't believe you. Oh, I'm afraid it's true, my dear. There's no other wizard except me. Oh, you humbug. Yeah. Yes, that's exactly so. I'm, I'm a humbug. Oh, you're a very bad man. Oh, no, my dear. I'm, I'm a very good man. I'm just a very bad wizard. Well, but what about the heart you promised the Tin Man? Well, and I... the courage you promised the Cowardly Lion? Well, and I... Scarecrow's brain. brain? Why, anybody can have a brain. That's a very mediocre commodity. Back where I come from, there are places called universities. Places where men go to become great thinkers. And when they come out, they think deep thoughts. And with no more brains than you've got. But they have one thing you haven't got. A diploma. Therefore, for the authority vested in me by the Universitatis Comitiatum E Pluribus Unum, I confer upon you the honorary degree of THD. THD? Yeah, that's, um, that's, uh, Doctor of Thinkology. Oh, the sum of the square roots of any two sides of an isosceles triangle equal the square root of the remaining side. Oh, joy, rapture! I've got a brain! Oh, how can I ever thank you enough? Well, you can't. As for you, my fine friend, you are under the unfortunate delusion that simply because you run away from danger, you have no courage. You are confusing courage with wisdom. Back where I come from, there are men called heroes. And once a year, they take their fortitude out of mothballs and parade it down the main street of the city. And with no more courage than you have, but they have one thing you haven't got, a medal. Therefore, for meritorious conduct, extraordinary valor, and conspicuous bravery against wicked witches, I award you at this time the Triple Cross. You are now a member of the Legion of Courage. Oh, 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 shucks, folks. I, I'm speechless. <laughs> As for you, my galvanized friend, you want a heart. You don't know how lucky you are not to have one. Hearts will never be made practical until they are made unbreakable. But I, I still want one. Back where I come from, there are men who do nothing all day but good deeds. They are called fluff, fluff, good deed doers. Yeah. And their hearts are no bigger than yours. But they have one thing you haven't got, a testimonial. Therefore, I take great pleasure at this time in presenting you with a small token of our esteem and affection. And remember, my sentimental friend, that a heart is not judged by how much you love, but by how much you are loved by others. Oh, oh, it ticks. Look, listen to my heart, it ticks. Oh. Read. Read what my medal says. Awarded for courage. Ain't it the truth? Ain't it the truth? They're all so wonderful. Oh, but, but what about Dorothy? Yes, how about Dorothy? Dorothy next. Yes, Dorothy. I don't suppose he has anything for me. Yeah. I'm afraid you forced me to a cataclysmic decision. 
The only way to get Dorothy back to Kansas is to take her there myself. Oh, will you? Could you? Are you a clever enough wizard to manage it? Oh, child, you got me to the quick. I'm an old Kansas man myself. Yeah. Premier balloonist par excellence of the Miracle Wonderland Carnival Company. Until one day, while performing spectacular feats of stratospheric skill, never before attempted by civilized man, the balloon failed to return to the fair. I did? Were you frightened? Frightened? You were talking to a man who had laughed in the face of death, sneered at doom, and chuckled at catastrophe. Oh, I was petrified. Oh. And then suddenly the wind changed, and the balloon floated down into the heart of this noble city, where I was instantly acclaimed Oz, the first wizard deluxe. Oh. Deluxe? From the prince pertaining to luxury. <laughs> there were a few luxuries that went with the job, but I took it anyway, pertaining the balloon in advent of a quick getaway. And on that conveyance, my dear Dorothy, you and I shall return to the land of E. Ploribus Unum. Step this way. Wizard pa adua ad altum am about to embark on a hazardous and technically unexplainable journey into the outer stratosphere <laughs> to converse and otherwise hobnob with my brother wizards. <laughs> Until that time, if any, that I return, I leave Scarecrow by virtue of his highly superior brains to rule in my stead, assisted by Tin Man, by virtue of his magnificent heart, and Lion, by virtue of his courage. Obey them as you would me. Thank you all, and now I believe it is time to cast off. Climb aboard, Dorothy, climb aboard. Climb aboard, Missy, while the wind's in your favor. Oh, wait, where's Toto? I can't go without him. Toto? Toto? Don't worry, I'll get him for you. No, don't let go of the rope. Oh, oh. No, Professor, oh. Professor, don't go. This oh. is highly irregular oh, no. procedure. Oh, no. oh, oh, please, oh, Professor, no. you can't go without me. Oh, it's too late, oh, my God, dear. Oh. You have to come back. I, I can't come back. I don't know how it works. Goodbye! Goodbye! Oh no, no, Professor. That idiot guard ruined my exit. 